figured out where their problem is. Somebody drilled through the freaking hookup. What's going on guys? Big Mike, D717, all back with you here today. So for once, I mean, it's been a while since this has been on the channel, we're finally doing some small upgrades on the quad. This was a couple things I should have did. Well, actually mainly one thing that I should have did a while ago. Now, anybody that doesn't know, this is the 2005 TRX 250EX sport tracks that I picked up off my buddy for about 300 bucks. So we got it. Yeah, we did have the issues with the rebuilding the carburetor and then um, we did the straight pipe video of the exhaust. This thing's been out a couple times, but when we repainted the exhaust, testing out the sandblaster and all that stuff, the exhaust still looks like damn near brand new. And my dumbass just touched a hot exhaust. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, so we had that. Four wheeler's been getting some minor TLC, a few other things getting the after we got these bars mounted up. I've been actually thinking about getting these painted, but I don't know if I can because they're aluminum. But the upgrade that we were doing today, my buddy had this, and when he got it, the original headlight assembly was messed up. So his way of going about it was taking the wiring from this and actually running these two little LED pods. Now, no offense to my buddy, these LED pods, when it is really dark, especially up at camp, you can't see shit with this. Like, it's really bad. So my idea was I hopped on Amazon and was doing some budget shopping. And I ran these LEDs on my old Polaris. I had about three of these on my old four-wheeler and these lit up like a Baja truck. Like just putting a couple of these on a four-wheeler is insane. So I did some shopping, found one with good reviews, but a lot of people will get them and they're like, oh, they're like 40 bucks for two. I actually got eight of them for 40 bucks. These are the same ones I ran on my other four-wheeler and they worked phenomenally. So I bought a bunch of extras. We're gonna actually put this one on the four-wheeler. We're gonna actually take the old assembly out, the old headlight assembly out. And I got lucky that there is a screw on the bottom that should mount up right to the screw that's on the bottom of the bracket. So we're gonna put this light in the original housing. And then this might be up to you guys. How can we mount other ones? Cause there's a high beam switch on that four-wheeler how can we or where should we wire up maybe two to three more lights for the high beam switch so pretty much what we're doing is low beam is going to be here and i was thinking high beam either mount two figure out a way to mount them straight to this piece here but unfortunately this piece is actually kind of flimsy or can we get a new handlebar that has a support going across here and then put two or three spanning this support go ahead and drop your comments down below let me know what's going on and see what you guys think but i'm thinking about wiring up high beam lights across here and maybe if we can keep these whenever you put this four-wheeler in reverse this light lights up i'm thinking of running just for kind of shits and giggles seeing if i can run a little light from this that goes to the back so that way there is somewhat of a reverse light for when we're up at camp and get into a predicament when it's dark and just in case we can't see all that well behind us but anyway we're going to go ahead and try and get this wired up and get a pretty simple upgrade all right guys let's start tearing into this all right so this is the bracket that goes on the back of the light now the assembly in here has this little screw holding the main lighting assembly in here. So I'm thinking we take that out, run this bracket in, and then the light will, should fit as almost a direct replacement to the original. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that light out, test fit our LED, and see how it looks. All right, so I got the original housing out, and I think I figured out where their problem is. Somebody drilled through the freaking hookup. No wonder there wasn't a light in this to begin with. So anyway, we got this housing out. So what we're gonna do is disconnect these old lights cause they're actually kind of holding up in here. And we're gonna double check and make sure that the bracket for the new LED fits just right inside this. All right, so after this got a decent bath cause it was caked in mud. So what we're trying to do is make sure that this bracket 
YouTube, which actually, holy hell, that's going to be a damn near direct fit for that. I just got to maybe drill out that hole just a little more. Hell yeah. So, okay, so the track for this is so that way this the light doesn't rotate. Literally is almost maybe a quarter of an inch shy. Now, that is a decent amount of clearance, but this should keep our light from really rotating inside this housing. So, all right, let me go ahead, take a drill, see if I can make this just a little bit bigger to fit this bolt through, and this might go together a lot quicker than I thought. All right, well, surprisingly, with just a little bit of filing, our bolt fits. So, now that our bolt fits, We can go ahead and put our bracket in and honestly we can just go ahead and tighten it up So at least we have it snugged. Go ahead and tweak it once it's in. But let's go ahead and get the LED light on there and make sure that everything clears. All right, so that LED fits just right in that housing. So honestly, we're pretty much ready for a test fit. Let's see if this actually looks right in here. That's a lot better. Okay, so. Now we have that LED in there. I do have it angled down just a little bit so that way it isn't necessarily a high beam, but it's gonna put a big path down on the dirt. So go ahead and get this screwed in and start working on wiring. All right, quick wiring. Just threw some alligator clips on to run to the wires just to check the light before we actually hardwire it. So I got the soldering done warming up. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and see how these work. All right, well the lights work. Now there is, like I said, there is this high beam switch. We're gonna try and figure out another way to mount possibly two to three more lights. I'm thinking mounting them right here. That way when you hit the high beam, you can steer with these lights and it'll stay with the steering. So that way if you're running through some trails, you can turn and actually see what you're doing. But for right now, we got those as our new LED front headlights and those should do a lot better than those little ones there. All right, let's get the final wiring and get everything finished up. We are finished up. Their install is completely done. Wires are wrapped up. Really clean install. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better than the OEM. And again, still, I wonder who in the hell drilled out the original light hookup. Eh, if I don't drop it. But yeah, that looks a lot better. Go ahead, too. Yeah. That's a lot better. And I do like the fact that with this light, it does have this black housing. So it's actually pretty, pretty clean, especially since the housing on the light itself is black. So yeah, definitely looks really good. And yeah, we're pretty much gonna wrap this up. All right guys, so as always, I hope you liked the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna know anything more about installing this stuff, usually, uh, wiring and stuff on ATVs as long as you find something that is pretty good on Amazon nine times out of ten it's gonna be pretty good for an ATV or a dirt bike or something like that so like I said too in the beginning drop some comments down below we're gonna see about getting some high beam lights put on the handlebars that way you have lights that actually turn with you 
And yeah, go ahead and drop those comments. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe you guys know of any places I can get maybe a new handlebar or any sort of bracket that can go right across the center there. So that way we can get two lights mounted up or three, depending on what we actually get done. But anyway, hope you guys like the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to drop any comments down below. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button or yeah, thumbs up button, the bell icon. So you can get notifications on the new videos that come out. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Remember, ride safe, ride smart, always wear a helmet. See ya. Oh, also, all the info or all the, uh, the part numbers and stuff for these LED lights, I'm gonna put it down below. They are an Amazon. Uh, 40 bucks for eight lights. So five bucks a piece. Can't really beat it. All right, guys. See ya.